Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Jack Elijah. I am out in nature, at the, in, the, in the city, in the town today. I'm not in my usual space in my bedroom, but that is because I am going to be heading to a local toy store called Replay Toys Boutique. And they specialize in My Little's Pet Shop, which, you know, I, like many others, have recently gotten back into with the advent of G7. And I just thought it was so cool that I have this toy store essentially in my backyard that specializes in such a cool niche toy you know and so yeah I'm gonna head there check it out see what they have to offer I've been there before and I love this toy store so I'm already very hyped and excited but I wanted to bring you all along with me so we could see what they have so let's go Okay, so let's head inside the toy store and see what they have. Tons and tons of cool Barbies. I'm not a big Barbie collector, but I still just love gawking over them and seeing them. Their faces are so pretty, especially the older vintage ones. Some enamel pins. And I like those glow-in-the-dark figures. Those are really, really cool. Some Pokemon cards and just random figures. I love Kirby. I do collect Pokemon cards, but I'm very selective about what cards I add to my collection. And I didn't know what these little knickknacks were, but for a dollar, you know, if you want to sort through them. And I think those Barbies were from maybe like a McDonald's Happy Meal promotion. I'm not too sure. Zombies and some inbox dolls. There's some mermaids. I have her already. And tons and tons of Barbie, which I don't have a huge interest in, but still really cool to see them. And I loved these bins of just like dog clothes and accessories. I did try to like scour through them to see if there's anything that I liked. But there's just so many things. It's a lot to look through. So even in today's video, I didn't get a chance to look through everything. But I'll definitely be back to, you know, search more. This bin was just doll heads, which I thought was so funny. Like, yeah, you know what? Just, just doll heads. There's a not a not surprise doll. Other little dolls that I don't know all of their origins. Here was just like a nude deuce who had his face printing like wiped off for seven bucks. Not too bad, but I didn't need him. And then there was a Mycene fashion pack. And now little, I think those are Mega Blocks Monster High figures. Kind of cute. Some other random dolls. We have some OMG dolls. I think there's even a couple Ever After High. I think that's Descendants. Yeah. I have a lot of OMG though, so I'm not really looking to add them to my collection right now. And what else is there? Cool little Bratz figure. I don't know where she's from. There was a Monster High bin. There's a lot of G1, some G2. But I don't know. I'm very particular about which dolls I add to my collection since I have so many dolls. But still really cool just to see old G1 Monster High dolls in the wild like this. The G2 Cleo was so silly with the molded on top. I've never seen that before. And there's a G2 Jackie Laura. There's the molded on top. I'm like, look at that thing. Okay. And now we're getting into the My Littlest Pet Shop. So many, y'all. If you are into My Littlest Pet Shop, they have a huge selection here. It was so impressive. That's always what has drawn me to the store. And so last time I was here, I picked up the like a hedgehog and a, I think a frog, like a tree frog. And I did pick up some more today, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But I mean... Yeah, this was very, very overwhelming. There's just so many to look at. I am getting better at being able to discern, you know, which pets belong to which generation, like roughly, you know, stylistically, I'm getting better at telling the differences, you know, and they're they're all kind of mixed in together. So you have to kind of know. And I, I am like, even though I'm not a huge collector, I'm kind of relatively new. I do have a preference to like the G2, G1 style pets. But yeah, they're really, really cool. I don't really like those ones with the huge wings. They're not my cup of tea. And here's some more. There's a pelican. I love the ostrich. So cute. I really want a seahorse, but I haven't found one that like I like yet. But I am looking for a seahorse. Love the pig mold. I actually thought that poodle was kind of cool, even though it's one of the newer My Little Pet Shops. Still really nice. Tons and tons of tons and tons of them, y'all. I'm not kidding. It's just too much to look at. I think that's a puffin so cute i do want that eventually you know one day but i'm trying to be selective to what i add to my collection just because you know i want quality over quantity and it's very hard at this toy store because they have such a huge selection you could just like quickly quickly add to your collection so i am trying to be selective 
but it's just so fun. And this is literally in my backyard, like just, you know, so close to me. And it's so cool. And I know there's a huge community for these toys. So I wanted to highlight and spotlight it because if you ever pass by the San Diego area, stop by if you're interested because you will have a field day. You know, there's there's just so many. This is a random bin. I saw this armadillo and I thought he was so cute. I love his eyes and all the little extra paint details on him. But I did pass on him today. But eventually I do want to get an armadillo. Just other random toys. It's really cool. There's so much to, to look at. I didn't even know what that guy was, but yeah, cool. I think that's like another armadillo. It looks like a newer generation because he has holes in his ears. I wonder if that was some type of gimmick. I'm sure someone will know in the comments. <laughs> that dog was so cute. What is that breed? I can't remember. Is that like a like a Yorkie maybe? I don't know. That one like had a boba cup around it. And I don't know if that was like meant to look like that or if that was what's going on there. Yeah, the ones that have little accessories are so silly, like headbands and stuff like that. And then the store has sometimes little prices written down like that. Or there is like a color coding system where things are priced either one through five dollars. And I think it's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and it descends in price. So that was yellow, so I think that one is three dollars. Like if they have little strings tied around them, there there's like a color coding price system. I think these were from the McDonald's promotion. More, more, there's more. Do you see this? I love that little hamster. More dogs and cats. I think dogs and cats are the most popular. I do like the little mice too. I do want a mouse. The monkey. Oh, there's a walrus. I did get one of him in the G7 blind boxes though, so. I'm cool. I love those silly cats with the hair popping out of their head. I was so tempted to get one. And I love the owls as well. That one had a cute little playset accessory, which is really sweet. But yeah, I'm like I said, I'm trying to be so active here. And I don't know. Is that a cow? They look like a cow. I love this pink flamingo. I, I had her in my cart and then I was uncertain. So I did take her out, but I was really enamored with her. I love the pig molds. There's so many pigs. That I don't know what that is. Is that like a griffin? I don't know what that is. And then I've been here before, but I've never looked through these bins. And the very kind employee, I think her name was Stephanie. Shout out to you. She was so sweet. She's like, you should look through these bins. And so I did. And look at this. These are all $3. So they're priced, you know, by bin. And I was just overwhelmed. I was just, where do I begin? Right? Like, what do I look at? There's so much to see. And like I said, they are mixed between generation. I love the armadillo. That one's kind of, that one's eyes are derpy though. So I wasn't really vibing with that one. The eyes are really important. And like I said, I can't always discern the differences between them. But yeah, that one is fun with the hair. There's like a black and white bee. That one's really cute. Sorry, y'all. I'm filming in here all alone with the one hand. It was rough. It was rough. I didn't really plan on doing this. Like in my mind, I wanted to make this video. And then it kind of just happened today and I had like no filming equipment. I just had my iPhone and a dream. So hopefully it's not too rough. I love the turtles, but they don't seem to be too rare. Like there's a lot of turtles and they're all relatively cheap. Same with the frogs. So I get the I get the idea that they're not that rare. There's the seahorse, but it had a lot of scuffs. So I passed on it. But I do love the seahorse mold. I don't really love the butterfly mold. There's a lot of butterflies too. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, that one's head fell off, but I did put it back on. See, see, okay, you know, it happens. It happens. But yeah, if you are interested, look at this. This is like so much fun. I just spent so so much time in here scouring through these bins and trying to find cute little pets. I think uh, the owner specializes in My Littlest Pet Shops. I've talked to another guy who works at the store. His name is Tony. He's also so sweet. We'll just like talk about dolls and toys and it's really cool to find other people out there with very similar hobbies and like-minded interests that you can just like gab about with. And he said that, yeah, the owner loves My Littlest Pets and tries to curate them. And curate them, she did. There are some more ostrich. I love the ostrich because they remind me of Fantasia. Is that the movie? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Fantasia, the Disney movie with the dancing like hippo and ostrich and alligators. I think the alligators are the that pet mold is really popular i didn't see any here i was also looking for the bat mold because my first my little pet shop was actually the bat from like the punkiest series and i loved her and i think i threw her away and i no longer have her so i'm wanting to add her to my collection and i have scoured like second hand for her and she is a little pricey so i'm hoping to find her like in store one day but 
no rush no rush and then here's another bin what price is this seven dollars maybe what does it say right there is, are this is this a seven dollar bin that word i think i have i think i got that in g7 i'm not sure though that dog was really cute you notice as the pets get more expensive they get less colorful and then they become just like cats and dogs which i think is so funny that those are the most popular ones because they're so simple to me like i think they're cute and they are charming but maybe i don't quite see the appeal which could be an unpopular opinion i'm not too sure i love that one the beaver that was the only beaver i saw and i wanted him but maybe next time i think this is a seven dollar or ten dollar bin what does that say there is a deer i love i love 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 the deer and they did have a lot of pets behind the counter that I didn't get a picture of. Oh my god, I actually bought that cow. Spoiler, I loved that cow. So cute. But yeah, they have more pets that are like a little bit more rare and expensive behind the counter. I didn't get a, any footage of it, but I was so intimidated. I'm like, ooh, those are like the rare pets. You know, I'm just going to look through this bin. Ooh, I think that was a, a sheepdog or what is that pet with no eyes? I thought that was really cool. Yeah, as you can see, these as they get more expensive, it's just neutrals, browns, and like normal colors. But that's what's popular within the community. I was really wanting the deer, but I did pass on her. The horses are so cute. But I already have like a Clydesdale, so I said, like, oh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. And there's another horse that's supposed to come out, I think, in like a two-pack in G7. So I'll wait for that. But yeah, I'm not like, oh, is that a, I think that's a Chow Chow. Is that a Chow or is that a Pomeranian? I had a chow chow as a kid, Sheba, so I would love to get a chow chow pet, but who knows. And then I think this was the most expensive bin. There's the least pets in there. Maybe this was the $10 bin, I think. And I didn't look at it too much because I'm like, this is outside of my price range. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, tons and tons of cool pets. And there's other toys as well. There's my, oh no, what are these called? My Little Pony. Yes, 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 yes. My Little Pony. I did love My Little Pony as a kid, too. I remember I got one through, like, the Happy Meals. And I think she was, like, a... I don't know what her name was, but she was mint and pink. I think she had pink hair and a mint body. And I loved her with the real hair. I loved when McDonald's had toys. And speaking of, there's tons of McDonald's toys I saw in the store that were, like, things I played with as a kid. So that was really cool to see. And this is a cute little Figaro. Last time we were here, we did get a little baby oyster toy from Alice in Wonderland. So if there are other cute toys that I like, I will pick those up as well. It's just so hard because I collect so many things that I am, you know, trying to be more rigorous this year. But I love all of the Disney toys they have. I do have a little mermaid shelf that's kind of like Ariel plus friends. So I will look to add to that shelf whenever possible. I love the Tarzan and Jane. I love Jane from Tarzan. So underrated. There's Tantor. Okay, that toy right there is from Brother Bear. And they like transform from human to animal. And I think they're from McDonald's. And I loved those when I was a kid. So I like stopped and focused on it because I was so shocked to see that. That looked like just 101 Dalmatians in that little bin. Some Toy Story. Tons and tons of Disney. So, okay, that little squid from Finding Nemo. I had her as a kid. And loved her. So seeing this in person, I was like, are you kidding me? But like, I don't I don't need to add it back into my life at the, at the moment. And then I had that dot as well. And the big beetle from Bugs Life. I loved Bugs Life as a kid. And I remember playing with these toys. So just very, very nostalgic to see these all here. Here's their Little Mermaid section. Probably popular because it's a little more sparse compared to their other franchises or, you know, movies and films. And I saw this King Triton in the back and I wanted to see him. Very, very cool. I love King Triton. I like that scuttle too that was laying down. And here are some play sets. I'm not as into play sets as an adult collector for whatever reason. They just take up a lot of space. So I tend to just care for like the pets or the dolls and things like that rather than having huge, huge play sets. But still really cool. And as you can see, there's just bins upon bins of toys that you can scour through. It's very well curated. Here's more dolls that I have no information on or information. Yeah, information to give out, but really, really cool. What's back there? I think there's like some little Blythe dolls as well from the My Little's Pet Shop. Simpsons. I love Simpsons. Some Scooby-Doo. This is kind of like cartoons. I don't collect Simpsons like that, but I love the show. But, you know, I'm trying to, you know, not buy everything I see. And these are some, you know, behind-the-counter pets that I was taking a look at. But I did pass on them in the end. 
I am back from my toy hunt today from Replay Toys Boutique, and I had so much fun. I love that toy store, and like I mentioned, it's in my backyard. They have so many little pet shops that it's very overwhelming, but I did get a tiny little haul, which I will share. And some non Littlest Pet Shop related things I got were these earmuffs. They're a pair of doll earmuffs. They are pink. I don't know which doll they belong to, but they are flocked. And I just like earmuffs. I thought they were a cute accessory. They look kind of big, almost like LOL OMG sized, but really cute. I'm sure they look really good on a Rainbow High doll. It was like 50 cents. And then this little doll purse, just a tiny little purse. I thought they were cute. And then as for my haul for Little's Pets, I got this little ferret, which I'll show up close. This one was $10. I think this was my most expensive one. And I don't know if this is worth $10 or not. I will say, I was not as scrupulous with pricing as I normally am. I am someone where like, I am more apt to price check and do research, but I was just having fun today and showing off the toy store. And so was this a financially sound decision? I can't really say. <laughs> I haven't, uh, you know, Googled it or like looked on eBay or Mercari to see what this little ferret goes for, but I pay $10. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's bad. I don't know. And then I got this cow. Oh my gosh. As soon as I saw this one, I was like, I need it. She was $7. I love her. She does have some signs of like wear and tear just from having, I'm sure, a previously very well-loved life. Like she has some pen marks and like ink stains on her, but I don't care. I think it's cute and it's charming and it shows that, you know, she was loved. And then I think this one is also $7. I think this is a kangaroo. I think. Yeah, it is a kangaroo. There's a little pouch. I just thought it was so cute. I've never seen a kangaroo before. I think there's two kangaroo molds I saw in the store and this one spoke to me. I liked the eyes a lot more. I don't know. The eyes, like I said, are what I'm drawn to. If the, if the eyes look right, then then I'll probably want it. But yeah, these are the three that I'm adding to my collection. And I just kind of started picking this little hobby back up because of Generation 7. I have already like a little bin of pets that I've amassed. These are almost all G7, except for like the other ones I got from the toy store that I went to during my last visit, being this hedgehog and this little frog. Where's the frog? This little frog. And then the rest are all G7 pets that I've already collected and amassed and I really love them this is like something that for me like it's not like a huge dedicated hobby like I'm not planning on making tons of videos about little pet shop but it just happened to be like so random that this toy shop in my city specialized in them so I wanted to highlight and spotlight that and for me like I love my dolls I'm primarily a doll collector but I can't always just like take dolls with me out in public I know a lot of people do and I've tried like I have brought dolls out with me but I'm so finicky with their hair and not messing it up that it actually kind of stresses me out more than it like relieves stress. And so I really like these little pets because, you know, sometimes before I go out somewhere, I'll like look in my stash and pick one out to like be my companion for the day and just keep them in my pocket. And, you know, there's a sense of relief in some weird way, if that makes any sense. And I just think they're adorable and I love them. And I think that needs no further explanation. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. That's all I have for you. My name is Eli. This is my channel, Jack Elijah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.